Yo, what's going on guys? It's Combo here. I'm bringing you guys a t domination gameplay, not team deathmatch. I'm so used to t saying team deathmatch, but uh, it's actually a domination match. I think it's the first one that's not a uh, team deathmatch with the dogs with every gun show. But we're kicking it off here with the um, with the uh, PSG-1. This is my favorite sniper rifle, as you guys may know. Um, I've uploaded gameplays of it in the past, and I really like the weapon. Not sure what, what uh, camo I have on here, but... Um, you guys will notice in this gameplay, I think I get a, a few kills with weapons other than the PSG-1. Um, but I've been doing that, I think, consistently throughout the series with a few weapons. Um, but I do get a nice few kills in here, and uh, even after I get my dogs, I still get a little bit of, you know, nice nice, uh, sh nice kills or, or whatnot. But uh, um, anyway, guys, like I said, this is my favorite sniper, sniper and here's why. Um, Basically, if you tend to notice, guys, I stick to these guns, or these snipers, over the bold action ones most of the time when I'm trying to do well in a public match. Um, basically, in Call of Duty 4, I stuck to the Barrett 50 Cal. That was my favorite uh, sniper to go pub uh, sniping with, I guess. But, you know, I always stick to these PSG-1, like the semi-autos, uh, the semi-automatic snipers that do the same damage, or almost the same damage, and have the same, like, hitbox um, as the other, as the bold action, you know, the strong one. So... Um, usually why I do this is because um, not only does it have that you know one shot capability of you know shooting a guy one shot kill like the uh, like the bolt action rifle but it also has gives you the ability to spray uh, spray an enemy if you absolutely need to and by that I mean like if if you miss the first bullet with the bolt action up close you're basically done unless the guy has really bad aim and you get you have time to cock the gun back and shoot again um, whereas with the semi-autos, you you still have that one-shot capability, um, but you also have the ability to spray if you absolutely need to. You get more shots off when needed, and I think it works out pretty well. And I do apologize, guys, if you don't really like me getting a few kills with the MP5K. Um, I think that's what makes a good sniper um, a great sniper is when they they know when to take out. Um, you know, their secondary, or they, they know when to pick up a gun and, you know, take that out instead of using their sniper. Um, actually, good snipers, you know, are, are really good up close. You know, they can take guys out, um, like, submachine gun distance like I am right here. Um, but I'm not that confident yet. I hope you guys do understand that. I'm not that confident with the sniper, although I can, I guess, hold my own sometimes. Um, but like I said, I think it's, I think it doesn't really matter that, you know, you take out a, a, uh, secondary or pick up a weapon off the floor and do work with that um, while snipe it's definitely a benefit and I think uh, like I said that's what you know experienced snipers do they know when to take out the secondaries when they have to and stuff like that so um, like I said guys uh, this this is why I usually go with these semi autos this is why it's my favorite um, favorite gun um, in the snipers because you know it has the spraying and also it has the one shot kill thing so uh, you'll probably see me use these kind of guns in Modern Warfare 3, like the semi-autos. I think it's called the like MS-50 or something close, something along those lines. Um, that has pretty good damage, and it's semi-automatic. You notice, guys, that I use the Barrett, and like I said, the PSG-1 in Black Ops. I'll probably use a gun like like this one in um, in Modern Warfare 3 when it comes out. But you notice soon, everyone leaves the game, and it gets really boring, so I do speed it up a lot. And I hope you guys uh, understand that. It, at least I didn't like cut it out or anything, but I just left it in there for you guys uh, to see it speed up. It does a little, uh, I guess, warm up a little bit more at the end. But um, like I said, there was only two people on the team for a while, so I just sped it up really fast. Um, but yeah, guys, I uh, just realized that this series is almost over. I only have one more weapon to post, and that is the Python dogs that we're gonna show. Um, I might get the Dragon off and the Wa 2000 in the future, and the rest of the pistols in the future. Um, I'll definitely post them if I do, but um, as for now, I'm only going to post the, the Python, and then after that, I have this special video for you guys. You guys are going to like it. It's really well done. Like I said, I mentioned it in the past, but um, I was actually thinking, since you guys seem to like the series, I, I probably will uh, just continue on with regular gameplays and stuff um, after the series, but we'll see how it turns out. Maybe I can start another series before Modern Warfare 3. I, I really want to get back into sniping if I get on Black Ops. Um, I probably, if I do, I'll probably uh, get you guys some sniper gameplay. Um, I still have a lot of a lot of sniper gameplay stocked up, um, but we'll see how it all turns out. Um, I actually have a lot of World at War gameplay where I get like four or three packs of dogs, maybe even five packs of dogs. I don't know. Um, in one game, and it's pretty pretty beast. 
um, how that turned out, and I actually had a subscriber suggest to me to do the Dogs of Every Gun show on World at War, except do Double Dogs, since it's a little bit easier to get them on there. And I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. I might just post for a couple for a couple weapons um, instead of doing all of them. Watch this. Watch this. Hit marker. Hit panic knife combo. Yeah, I almost rage quit, but I actually stayed in the game, so um, I sped this up here because I was just in in awe of how awesome that guy was. But hopefully the panic knife will be out. Oh darn! I just killed myself. Um, but yeah, hopefully the panic knife will be out. I heard it's just like no lunge anymore. It's just a, a swipe like it was in Call of Duty 2. Um, but we'll have to see how it turns out. Hopefully there's not a lunge because that thing's annoying. But Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Let me know if you want to see some World at War um, dogs with every gun show, maybe. I don't know, for a few weapons, the popular ones. I don't know. Let me see, guys. Uh, let me know, I mean. And other than that, guys, I'll see you all later. Have a good day, and peace.